All right, guys. So this one, nothing too crazy here. Yeah, you might know it. It's basically just adding multiple rows. So first thing first, let's just uh, actually you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy our data from our first example. That might be easier. Let's we'll try to use that whenever we can. And I'm gonna get rid of the conditional formatting just to clear. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we have our list of students. We have our list of scores. Now let's say we had. Uh, you know, a few few new students. So say we had this list and the next time, you know, we do a test, you know what, we actually got three new students in the class and we need to put them in here. Um, and let's say that actually, for whatever reason, we just kind of want to stick them in the middle. Maybe, you know, we have this ordered by seating chart, whatever reason, uh, we just don't want to add them at the bottom. We kind of want them in the middle. So most people would click. So there's a couple ways we could have done that. You know, we could, um, highlight a group of cells and move them down. So like we needed three spots and I'm going to hit control Z to undo that. Um, oops. And then you could also do this. And if you hit control, hold down control and hit plus, um, we'll say shifts down shells down. I'm not sure why I'd highlighted all those control plus. Well, it's weird. It's like insert paste. Oh, it's cause I have some data paste that that's why or copied. There we go. So uh, shift cells down and you could hit yes and it would move them down. We could hit control plus again and down, control plus again and down and create three rows. But again, say we have a lot of data. Um, we don't want to do all that monkey business. You can certainly come over here. If you click on the left on any of the numbers and this works for columns as well, guys, you can click. So first of all, just inserting a row several ways. Uh, you can go again on your home menu, insert, and then insert sheet row, and then you could do that three times. Uh, you can do it for columns as well, and then obviously delete works as well, delete sheet rows. Um, but one way that sometimes I've, I've been surprised people didn't know, you could highlight multiple rows, and however many you highlight, so here we highlighted four, we said we only need three, so let's do three. If we do insert now, insert sheet rows, it will insert three rows. It basically takes however many you highlighted and, and create those for you and move everything else down. Um, because we did like the entire row across, it's smart enough to figure out, okay, you want, you know, insert data here. So let's just move it down. Um, same thing works here. You could do multiple insert, you know, sheet columns that moves it over to, I'm going to hit control Z just to undo kind of what we've done. And that's basically it for inserting rows. Nothing, nothing too crazy there, but, um, just one of those things that not everybody knows you can do more than one at a time. Uh, another way, just since we're doing tips and tricks, um, you know, you highlight the three. I mean, I mentioned you can go insert and then do rows. If you just hit control and then the plus sign, that's the exact same thing as insert. So um, control minus will undo them or, or will actually delete the rows that you have highlighted. Uh, control Z is actually undo. And that's about it, guys. So there you go. That is inserting multiple rows.